Let's now get you some updates from Bangladesh, where there appears to be a lot of political uncertainty that has overshadowed the impending election. The 7th of January polls remain just a few weeks away, and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has hinted that her party, the Awami League, may not share any seats with the Jatiya Party. The Hasina has in fact met with the JP, the Jatiya Party chief patron, Roshan Irshad, at the Gono Pabhan. And soon after, representatives from both the parties held a meet for what was their third round of talks on seat sharing. At the meeting, Roshan Irshad urged the Prime Minister not to join hands with her faction, claiming that the chairman, GM Khader, had forcibly taken over the party. Now, this is the first time in 27 years that Roshan Irshad will not be running. She has also denied support for JP nominees, saying that they have intentionally removed her from the race altogether. Now, this infighting within the ranks has raised a lot of doubt about the Jatiya Party's presence in the polls. Remember, the Awami League's main opponent, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, is already nowhere in the picture after it has decided to boycott the elections, saying that these elections are neither going to be fair nor are they going to be independent. The global leaders have repeatedly called for dialogue between the Awami League and the BNP, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, to ensure an inclusive and a credible election. But that has seen little headway due to reluctance predominantly from the Awami League. With just about 24 days to go, the question, of course, is will the opposition be able to pull off a miracle and, an, and put an end to Sheikh Hasina's 15 long year rule? Or is this going to be another election where the opposition is boycotted the polls and therefore the, impen, the, incumbent, gov, the incumbent government has got no opposition to fight? Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.